structure of your swing is compromised. And what I mean is your arms splay apart. This distance right here between the elbows, when you swing, sometimes gets compromised. So if you get your right elbow and left elbow separating, it steepens the shaft. But you've got a shoulder issue. I can tell you right now. Externally rotating your shoulder from a bent over position is not easy for you to do. So right here your right elbow gets a little high. And that's why your swing is always going to be a little steeper. Most guys are in here, your elbow's out. But that's not something you can do. It just physically you can't get there. You had a shoulder injury or something. That's keeping your right elbow from your right uh, shoulder from ex externally rotating. But the structure is what I'm talking about. So I'm more interested in keeping the elbows together more so that you can re reattach your arms. Keeping this connection, you get a little splayed. But again, I mean, you're keeping your rear end back, and that's the number one priority for contact and consistency. You can see the left elbow sort of flies there and the shaft works up. That's a little too vertical. You know, when you come through, the shaft should be exiting parallel. It should be on that plane. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, so it's just, you see the right elbow there, on, or the left elbow's out there. And then the, so if you look at a pro, you won't see that, for example, like uh, right elbow in this position is going to be down more. You can see it's see how your right elbow is below his right elbow is below his left. Here's his right. Here's his left. In your swing, that doesn't happen. See your right elbow is high right there. It's behind your right hip. If we go here. See how much more down his elbow is than yours? Yeah. So that's why the shaft gets more shallow. See how it's parallel there? Yeah. Okay, so this is what we would call on plane. Pretty close to on plane. Now when he comes through, he's going to see how it exits left and parallel again. So your exit is much higher, so you're holding on more this way. You see the difference? His hands are working more around. Now, it's a different release. See how your hands work? See where the club shaft's pointed there? See where his shaft is? So how you exit underneath the left shoulder that's a pretty low exit. Now, you know, I mean, does everybody do that? No. But all I'm saying is you're keeping your your hips back, which is much better. Most guys will exit parallel to the shaft plane. Not everybody, but most. This guy doesn't. He exits high. So, what am I really saying? Just keep the structure. Keep your hips back like that, and you're going to be fine.